Hi, welcome to another quick tip Thursday. Today I'm going to show you how I convert my Sony FX30 uh, S-Log3 to Red 709 in DaVinci Resolve for my YouTube videos. So let's jump in the computer and see how I do it. First, as you can see, I already have DaVinci Resolve open. I have the studio version, but, but for this it's not important. You can do it in the free version. So first of all, you have your clip. We go to the color tab and this is what you see in the color tab when you are when you open this for the first time like this. So I had my own um, tree node. So this is if you don't know, this is a node. This is where you put your changes. So you can have multiple nodes in here. The best way is for you to put each change or each group of changes in one node okay so I, I will use this I will create several nodes for serial nodes first if you are on a PC is Alt S if you are on a Mac is uh, I don't know it's not command because command is I think it's option S oh one three give it the fourth and Alt L for a layer node and come here and another one Alt S. So you have all these nodes. This one, the last one is the, I use it for, the, it's for the color space transform, CST, I use CST. Sorry, you come to the node, if you want to label it, I'm here in node label. So this is the background. This is the skin. This one is the HSSL. This one is the primaries and this one is the white balance. So the first one I will go is to the last one. Of course, you can add more serials or parallel or layer nodes after this one, but I will start by here and i will go and look for the, the in the effects here go and look for the color space transform and put it in here so the color space transform is an effect that converts from one format to another one in this case it's going to uh, transform from s log 3 to rec 709 because i already have my timeline defi defined as uh, rec 709 gamut 2.4 so let's start by choosing our input color i'm gonna press s we come here and it's i use sony s gamut 3 cine then i will come here to the input gamma press s again and go to the s log 3 so as you can see it it changes from this log footage to this footage so first thing i will do i will come here to the white balance when i here to the white balance tool i look for something that is white on my image as you can see i have this vase here and this one here so i will look and i will go there and press okay this is, is correct so Next, I will go to the primaries and adjust the brightness of the global footage. Of course, you have to pay attention. You have to look for your subject to be on camera for adjusting because one of the most important thing is the skin. So let's start. As you notice, the highlights are a little bit high. So let's change this and give it a little bit in the mid tones down and let me bring up the let's go put here the parade i would like to put the parade let's watch for the for the background okay so nothing is crushed you can see let me a little bit down and just okay it's okay for now let's go to the hsl so the hsl you can adjust the colors and everything so are this here so the first one i will go is to hue versus saturation and i will tick all this 
colors here so as you can see we have a spike here on blue that is this area i like to come here and as you can see you can bring it up or bring it down so i will bring it a little bit more and for instance you can go here to the green and have more green or less green or into the yellow you can watch here the letters in yellow if i will push pull this down it will move it will they will disappear and if i bring it will give you a, a vivid yellow more vivid yellow then i'll come here to the u versus luminance i will do the same here then i will come here and i can give it more i will give it a little bit less in here and all the rest i will leave it as it is let me see no i think it's okay and here in the green everything is well then i will come to this one to the luminous versus saturation you have this for the the blacks and the whites i will push it down now for the most important thing i will go to the skin I use the qualifier tool here I will select the skin I will come here this tool you can see have this I will try to adjust this a little bit more for just having the skin let me grab it in here me clean the blacks Let me adjust this a little bit more. Oops. You know that. We'll give it a blur radius and a denoise. Okay. So as you can see, we have this in here and some of these parts. We can, can try to adjust this a little more. Let me try to clean flex in here. Okay. So I think this is okay. So if you don't want this, you want just want the face and the hands. We come to here. I will try to give it this. Let me soften this. Try to give it this and this. Let me rotate this a little bit. Push it down. And now. You can see that you still have it a little bit of here but now you can now you can adjust just your skin for example let's if it's too bright you can put it a little bit down let me change this to the vector scope and this is the skin line and we can come here and see that it's very well now and now you can go to the back node and you can adjust the back without changing your skin and let me you can let's give it a little more and now you can adjust the way you like it i like to give it a little back in the back you can notice me and not the background and for example if you want to even give it a little more pop to your image you can add another layer node so this is not a quick <laughs> tip it's a long one let's come here and add a vignette for example you can add a vignette you can Give it like this and like this and soften, for example. And let's let's change it to the. Okay, so everything around now is gonna be darker. You're gonna come here. Look, so you can darken everything. <laughs> or here the mid tone. You can give it a little bit more darker. And now you have your final image 
So I hope this information is helpful and I hope that you learned something today. This one was a little bit uh, bigger than the normal quick tip Thursday. So this is a long tip Thursday. And I, as I said, I hope this was helpful for you. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button. That helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified the next time I will launch my video. Until there, Bye.